remember your question. My question isn't specifically Eskett, I'm afraid, sorry. No, that's okay, but um, we'll, we'll get them all through to answer. My question is, I work in the cultural and heritage section of Swindon, and um, it, it is really struggling a bit. And I'd like to know what the, each of the parties is going to do to try and support and encourage the cultural and heritage uh, areas of Swindon. Okay, so we're now changing the running order, Bill. So you will answer a question about the, what are you going to do for the cultural yeah, sector in Swindon? Yeah, I think it's, that is a very ne neglected area, and it is important. I and mean, I think people do need some bit of their spirits and things like art and drama and, and dance and music and anyway, football and expression is very, very important. And um, it's quite a difficult question, you know. The, as the funding is cut and cut, perhaps the arts section is one of the first to go. So you're quite right to raise this concern. And I think um, uh, <coughs> to, to develop this, you need to, you need to sort of campaign and, and, and show people that right from school right to old age to pension is that, you know, culture and arts is very, very important. And we, cannot ignore this in these so-called strict economic times, so I'd be all in favour of raising the budget in this area. Okay, thank you. So where are we doing now? I've, I've got to keep track of this, this list. So, Liberals, would one of you like to talk about the, the cultural sector? I can talk to you. Um, we'll, we'll work together on this one. Um, Swindon's got a fantastic arts and, and heritage and culture scene. And I myself, in, in this little spare time that I do get, I run uh, heritage festivals up in Old Town, as, as you might know. Um, so it's something I'm very personally uh, invested in in the area. Um, Swindon's got a fantastic culture and heritage scene, but very few people seem to get to hear about it. So we've got the Big Arts Day, which is obviously the jewel in the crown, and everyone does know about that. <clears throat> the, the problems that the Big Arts Day is facing is that it hasn't got a sustainable future, um, so it doesn't have someone to, to organise it, it doesn't have funding, it's kind of lurching from, from year to year now. I think for, for the Big Arts Day we need to be proud of the dual knot crown of our arts and heritage scene uh, and, and celebrate that and make sure that's got a, a sustainable future. Um, there are maybe about 10 or 12 really great festivals that are run in Swindon. Um, but again, not enough people get to hear about these. We, we have fantastic events every month of the year. It seems there is a festival running in Swindon, but no one seems to get to hear about it uh, enough. Uh, not enough people are going to it because they're not shouted about enough, they're not promoted enough. And actually, if, if Swindon did nothing else but to really shout about the arts and culture and heritage that we've got already, we would have a much, much fantastic, uh, better town in that respect. There's room to grow, but I think really we need to shout about what we've got first. Okay, thank you, Dave. Andy, who's going to talk? Answer, Emma. Yeah, I was coming on. Actually, to start by agreeing with Dave, I think there are a lot of really good people in Swindon doing some really good work, and it is very difficult to work things in Swindon, but we need to observe what we are doing. Never going to be Bristol and um, Bath Oxford, but we've got a really good community, some great live music in Escot. Um, I don't know if anybody's seen um, Labour's Manifesto, or Labour's Master Plan for Generation Swindon, but that's centred upon building upon our cultural heritage or railway heritage. Um, it's a really good plan, it's comprehensive. Unlike the current plans, we've got bits going here, bits going here, but nothing really links. Um, it's comprehensive and it really links up, and it also involves good transport plans as well. What we need to be looking for, looking at as an example, is developments like the Gloucester Keys development, where they've looked at their heritage, they've made it something modern um, and relevant. So, yeah. We all vote for culture. <laughs> 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 it's always 